super moon super sloppy Joe Steven Susan yeah you can be you can be Susie from now on you know make things a little bit easier on me your name is long arduous. There's probably like eight syllables in it. So, um, me being the kind of guy I am, skip that shit. Now, obviously, yeah, I'm answering your five questions probably a day late. Dollar short, that's usually me. Got a little notebook. It's not really much of a notebook. It's more two sheets of notebook paper spiral bound into notebook. So, might as well get started. Uh, but taking off my unreading glasses. Now, the first question was if I could live in any era, what era would I live in? At least I think that was the question. All I have written here is era with a question mark next to it. And I, I, I've been thinking about that for, for a while. I, I can't really think of a really great answer aside from, you know, um, I, I like when I am. I also like where I am, but that that's another question, isn't it? Now, if it was like for a visit, uh, I might like to visit, you know, uh, the 1920s or the 1880s. I, I wouldn't mind visiting the 1400s, early 1400s. But that's really beside the point. I, I like where I am and when I am. So pretty much if I had to live in a specific era, right now is good with me. Um, the next one was uh, if I could meet or be intimate with any celebrity, alive or dead, who would it be? Now, if I were going to be intimate with the celebrity, I'd prefer that the celebrity, you know, be alive. Because, you know, necrophilia is not that cool. So, basically, I thought of two people for this one. And then, I thought of the third, which just completely blows the other two out of the water. But, I might as well go down the list. First of all, intimate. And this is like provided, you know, the person is brought back to life more or less whole. You know, no deadly wounding and all that jazz. Joan of Arc. I would definitely want to be intimate with Joan of Arc. Total hottie, man. Total hottie. Um, but provided we can't raise the dead, um... I want to meet Hitler. I seriously want to kick that guy in the crotch. But of course, there's really no point behind that, considering he'd be dead. So we'll move on to the third, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus H. Tap Dancing Christ. Seriously. I want to like go back in time, hang out with the guy, We'd have some bread and fish. He'd feed 5,000 people, and uh, he'd turn some water into wine, and we'd just have a big party. Partying with Jesus, yeah. Party like it was his last dinner or something. Moving on again. Uh, one wish. That's, that's a difficult prospect right there. Just one. Now... I thought about it a lot, and I, I kind of like the idea behind some kind of superpower. I'm not some kind of weird nerd, but, you know, superpower would be great. So first I thought, you know, laser beam eyes. But, you know, normally I walk around wearing glasses, so I, what, what are laser beam eyes going to do but shoot off my glasses? So I thought, you know, fireballs. Throw fireballs. Fire. Everybody loves fire. Fire is a beautiful thing. But then I thought, you know, 
I shouldn't make a wish that's for me. I should do something for the betterment of mankind. So I thought, you know, how about like a healing touch? I could heal people by touching them. But then, of course, I'd get this whole paparazzi coming around and be all like, hey, touch me, touch me. I'd be like, yeah, leave me alone. No, go away. So maybe something a little more incognito, like from a distance, I could reach out my hand like this and just go, and somebody, like, all their disease and wounds would just be healed over an amount of time so nobody thinks that some crazy guy going like this is healing people. And then I thought, you know, also, as just sort of a practical joke, if I went like that, I'd be, like, dumping all the sickness back on him. And, you know, just just practical joke, you know, I'd be like, <laughs> so you're diseased, huh? Here, I'll... Heal you up like that. Whoops! <laughs> then of course you heal him, but you know, I'd probably get too into that and eventually accidentally kill someone, thus making me learn some valuable lesson about honesty or something. When was the fourth question? If I could go any place in the world visiting. Difficult choice. Um, I wouldn't mind going to the moon, you know, play a round of golf, just for the sake of, you know, playing golf on the moon. Be freaking metal, man. Freaking metal. That or, you know, uh, Washington, D.C., because it'd be cool to see all the memorials there, especially the Lincoln Memorial, because I have this plan for the first time, any time I, if I ever get to Washington. D.C., you know, like Washington State. I'm, I've already been to Washington State. I want to put a Santa Claus hat on the Lincoln Memorial. I'll put, set a ladder up so that kids can climb up into Lincoln's lap and tell Lincoln what they want for Christmas. Seriously, it'd be a great joke. Get a picture of every kid you know, buzz out the face so nobody thinks, so oh, I'm gonna steal these kids' face. This is... Moving right along. No, or New York. Provided I have, like, a ton of cash. I would definitely go to New York. And they have tons of restaurants there. Uh, I'm a big fan of food. I love to eat. I love to cook. So New York would just be kind of fun. Eat there for mess around, go to restaurants, do stuff like that. So, and the last one, it's not really a question, it's more you're just asking me about something about myself that you don't already know. And I could cop out on that and just say something really easy because I don't think you know anything about me. So... But I don't want to cop out. I don't want to just say, um, my age, for instance. Oh, I'm such and such years old. There. Ha. Huh, that's something you don't know about me. Now, I want to, uh, I got to think about this. Make it something a little more drastic. Uh, huh. Well, let, let's go with what I'm studying. Um, currently in college right now. Studying to be a chef. I absolutely adore cooking. Um, I love food. I love serving people. Uh, now, a lot of people, a lot of businesses will be like, the customer is number one, but I, I think what I have goes beyond that. It's an, an amazing respect for the customer. seeing is how they're the ones that are going to give me money so that I can continue to cook food for more customers. Now, honestly, you, you really scare me, so I'm going to cut this short. It's not really cutting it short, is it? I, I spent quite a while. I don't know how long this video is. I'll check it out later. But seriously, you scare me, you creepy rocker chick really frightened me. I gotta go do some stuff. Catch you later.